Alright, welcome back to another exciting episode of Pedantic Raver Plays Torchlight 2. This here, this lovely lady is George, this is my pet panda. And, uh, we're about to go to a completely new area. We're gonna talk to this Imperial Railmaster, and he's gonna take us to Zephyresh. And if I recall correctly, all up in that Zephyresh... There was a Deutermunch that told us that we should come talk to him when we get there. Because we... Oh! Heaven's a cutscene. The Alchemist, driven by Orgrok's dark heart, has stolen the essence of two Guardians. The remaining Guardians dwell in the barren lands that surround Zarefesh. The Alchemist will surely strike there next. You must confront the Alchemist before another Guardian falls. Hmm. I think we shall. Alright, check this out. Brand new area. Let me adjust my screen so I can see things. Excellent. Hmm. Hmm. Let us take a look. At what do we have here? We've got our standard uh, Gorman Furl, Gem Savers, and Gem Smashers. We got this Railmaster to take us back to uh, the Asterian Enclave. Ah! Oh, Albrecht that combines treasure to create new. No way! Can we talk to you? Welcome, my friend. I'm actually rather surprised the uh, Azura here have been able to move about the ocean wastes at all. With the Manticore making its lair out there. In the Stygian Airy. Ooh, I wonder if we get to fight a Manticore. This little guy, however, this little guy, I have a feeling is about to become a game changer. So, how do we do? <gasps> Look at learning. Combine ingredients to learn. Ingredients, health potion 3, mana potion 3, any unique item times 4, socketable times 3. Any socketable item one, any gem of equal or greater level times two. Oh man, I think we might pet consumables inventory, pet spells. Oh no, this is just panda stuff. Okay, cool. Wow. Okay, great. Um, I think we may have to dick around with this for a little while because holy crap, that's exciting. Okay, so here's... Oh! Rufio the Enchanter! It's not our old old friend, uh... Tallow? Talim? Anybody remember his name? Maximum Enchantments 2. Oh, that's interesting. Does it, Do I have... A, oh, yeah! Yeah, so we can upgrade all our stuff with another enchantment. So that's excellent. Let's see... Okay, hold on. Hold on. Okay, so I don't really care about potions. Um... Any unique item times four or three socketables. Let where's our stash? Ooh, Act Two, the Eve of War. I guess it's official now. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So where's our where's our stash? What up, everybody? I will. Oh, Guardian of Air. What up, fancy pants man? Uh, she can help us respect some skills. We got our blacksmith, general goods. Whoops! Okay, no, we're good. We're, everything's fine. Um, where's our stash? It's way down here. Okay, so you've got a mission for me, but before I talk to, hey, what, what are you doing down there? What are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, everything's fine. Horses. I want to ride a horse. Uh, oh, gears. Powering a mysterious machine. Various random machinations. Oh, cool. Okay, here's our stashes. So, uh, let's, let's see if we can grab some unique. I wonder if it has to be, like, unique, unique? You, oh, no. So they have to be, like, unique, unique, do you think? Well, one of those options is any three socketables. So, let's experiment with that. Uh, here's a random sword we don't care about. A hat we don't care about. 
and a wand we don't especially care about. So let's go see what happens when we throw this at... Whoop. What's your name, Captain? Albrecht. That's a German red panda. Or... You guys think that's a red panda, or do you suppose it's a, uh, a raccoon? I don't know. Anyhow. Blap. Blap. No? Oh, come on. Socketable type of th Oh! Any unsocket and any general. Ooh, I wonder. I wonder. So... Well, it didn't mean, like, socketable, socketable. I think it meant, like, socketable as in things you put into a socket. Like, one of these things. So, I think I've got a bunch of those. So, if he can make us some dank-ass socket... Where the... Oh, man, I've already forgotten where our stash was. Okay, here we go. So, these things. Let's see what happens. Let's see what... Well, this is a great way to clear out some of our inventory. huh? Let's grab one more random thing. Um, it's not socketable, but I wonder if that's considered a unique item. Or if those, when it says unique item, it means like item of the unique uh, complexity level or whatnot. So let's try that. Four things. No. No, it doesn't like it. doesn't like it. Uh, there's a help button. We may have... Let's click it. Alright. Tra Come on. Transmuter. Transmuters can combine items to create new items. To perform a transmutation, place the ingredients into the slots below. If the ingredients are appropriate for a recipe, the transmutation button will become active and allow you to perform the transmutation! Exclamation point. This will remove the necessary items and place the new item into your bag. The recipe list will show the results from transmutations you've performed. Not all of the transmutation recipes are listed, so experimenters may find new recipes. Oh, how cool is that? Um, great, so let's... Uh, hell, one of each, whatever. One of those, one of those, one of those... Three. Right, socketable times three. Let's... S oh. High-grade socketable. Did that... Where did that go? Um... I feel like I've missed something. Okay, let's try one of these, one of these, one of these. Do I have to sacrifice three to learn it, and then I'll get something? What? But, didn't I use one of those to... Oh, I guess that is better, because instead of, like, 7, I've got 16 now. And minus all armor per hit. Hell, let's go, let's go again. One more time. Ooh, look at that. 6% damage bonus when dual wielding. Well. Uh, hopefully the noise filter will remove that car alarm. But yeah, ooh, great. Okay, so what else do we have? Any uns and any gem of equal... Well, I've burned all my gems. So that's, you know, sad face. Uh, let's see. So I've got a fire spec. And I think... I want to break that out of there. And try this new gem. Because that seems fun. Let's see what happens when I put that in... Ah, oh, heavens. I went the wrong way. My bad! Let's go this way! Uh, break my gems! Get that shit out of there! Black. Yes! So now... Put that in there. And what's our... DPS? So... The right hand right now is 68 to 130. 
And if we put this... Well, actually, hold on. Do we have a list of how much DPS we do total? Um, uh, what's our total DPS? What's our total DPS? Do we not have that? Where do I see that? Uh, character panel. Alright. Well, whatever. So, 68 to 235. And now, 70 to 244. So, not awful. Um, we're holding on to this for that blindness. Because, I mean, this is kind of a... Okay, tell you what. Tell you what. Let's go shopping. Shopping. I usually cut all this crap out of an episode. But I figured, hey, maybe this is... Maybe some of you guys want to see what happens behind the scene and more of the chill-out moments of the game. And we might as well do that for a little bit. Let's go talk to the blacksmith here, because maybe he's got some kind of sick weapon. Yeah, what up, dog? Uh, ooh. So, yeah, we're going to buy something. Um, yeah, let's see. Let's start from this area. 123 versus our 8. Well, tell you what, let's take that out of our and oh man hold on i'm gonna make this awesome so we're gonna turn her around we're gonna go to the options we're gonna turn off our helmet and now oh look at us we're so cool looking hold on turn around let's zoom in let's see what we look like oh we're so cool we're so cool i'm so proud of us <laughs> okay, anyway. Uh, 123, not bad. 4% uh, damage bonus from dual wielding, also awesome. But we're gonna, you know, we already have a 6%. We're probably gonna pick up a socketable um, weapon, because they're fun. So this guy looks, you know, only 96 DPS, but 2 sockets and plus 4% to speed. Plus, we're gonna have the opportunity to enchant it twice... So it could potentially be very beefy. These things are just boring. Here's we've got a shotgun that does a pretty decent amount of damage. Uh, ooh. That's a foxy little... Three meters to bow crossbow pistol in one range. That's a cool bow. That's a super cool bow. Uh, bank. 181 damage. That's a sweet crossbow. If I could use that... And I don't think... I, I'm not... Well, first, I can't afford it. Two... I'm nowhere near the right level, and three, my dex is, uh, get out of here, uh, 54. And that thing needed, what, 80 some odd? No, 58. So, four more dex, so at one more level, and we could potentially use that evil, evil crossbow, which is cool. Then there's this crossbow, and eh, whatever, uh, big ass gun. Big ass gun, very slow, lots of cool enchants. Man, um, I am so tempted by that, and I wish I hadn't put that, uh, I hadn't have put that ember spec in there, but that would be really helpful. So, like, it'll increase the damage of the other gun, plus increase the odds of firing both of them at the same time, which is what execute is. Kind of strange that they call that move execute, but, you know, eh, whatever. And this thing is just, like, basic of basic, but it deals, like, 43 more damage per second than, uh, than my current, current weapon. 123. They're both 123. So, 3% reduction in fumble. I think fumble means the, like, opposite of crit. And it does a, uh, damage over time. And I'm kind of curious now if that applies to any of the procs that we've got going on with our skill set. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like, so uh, sometimes we'll blow up people in clouds of acid just because of the passives we have. And I wonder if something gets nicked by that, if that kind of thing applies. Um, that's also very tempting. Very tempting. Very tempting. I think since we wasted this spec on this thing, what we're gonna do... Do I want... 
man. All right. I th shit. Well, that damage bonus I think is just going to apply to every spell, every ability, and all that jazz. I think we're going to buy this. Yes. Boom. Bought it. Uh, I'm going to sell this crap off because it's kind of worthless. That is a super cool shield, and it only needs level 4. I'm going to put that back into... Uh, I'm going to throw this guy here. Put this guy back here. I don't think there's necessarily a difference depending on... Did that go down drastically? Or did that go up drastically? Uh, let's check. Oh, okay, no, no, no. It went up. Like, the top end damage didn't go up, but the low end damage, like when we... Oh, yeah, 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 we need that. All right, so let's uh, liberate... Oop, we are way close, being super intimate with George there. Um, right, so let's go to the uh, gem liberator fellow. This guy, gem saver. Get our gem back. Alright, beautiful. Uh, let's go back to our stash. Which is... Throw it in the shared stash. Go ahead and put those back in. Actually, I'll hold on to that. Just in case I pick up something that I want to socket. Um, oh, actually, I do have something I want to socket. Yeah, that's fantastic. Because uh, what this does, I've got a 4% chance to reflect but I do dual wield a lot. So I think I'd rather put that into a gun slot. Now I wish I hadn't combined all those gems. Because I kind of sort of screwed myself. Um, what was it going to... Oh, yeah. Well, let's go enchant our new gun. Because why not? You know, let's throw some money at the Red Panda. And then I am going to uh, talk to the mission giver... And that's probably going to be at the end of this current episode. No, not you. Not you, sir. You, buddy. Rufio. Buddy. Check. Oh, I can't afford it! Ah! No, Rufio. Why must you do this? How about this thing? Give me that back. How about this thing? Can you enchant that, Rufio? 1935. 1565. Oh, heavens, Rufio. Heavens. I have a feeling... And, um, <coughs> excuse me, I have a feeling I might just, ha what's down there? What is down here? Just some guys, can't even click on them, you know, it's fine. Okay, so let's find out what these guys wanted me to do. Guardian of Air. Well, in that case, we're definitely going to do that. You have received a quest. I sure did. Uh, whoever that guy. Oh. Okay, yeah, no, we, we already know. Alright, cool. Thank you, uh, mystical winged thing creature. Uh, let's go here and talk to this fella. Malik Vosh, he's a Zephyri noble. Welcome, my friend. Greetings, my friend. Welcome to Zephyresh. I am Malik Vosh. I speak for the Zephyri. As you know, the Ezra here are preparing to assault our city. Our military leader, Commander Muzaffar, these names are great, aren't they, guys? Has apparently been captured by the Ezra here, out in the Ossian wastes. 
they'll have sent for inquisitors to take their prisoners back to their stronghold. Once they have, once they get him to Riftkeep, they'll identify him quickly enough, and then they'll interrogate him until they know everything about our defenses. I believe you're going out to the Ossian Wastes. Please, rescue Mozafar. We need him. Hell yeah, buddy. I'll, I'll rescue your high-value target. What you want to give me for that? Ooh. Uh, some ice armor that I don't care about. Damn, the room sweeper of the vampire. <laughs> Whatever. And, ooh. That is a dank tag. Panda, you want that tag? That is an awesome tag, Panda. Yeah. Yeah, Panda wants that tag. Bunch of physical armor, a bunch of health, some poison armor, and a bigger crit chance, and that bear can crit, you guys. I tell you what. Anyway, we've accepted that quest, high value target. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I, I, I know that there wasn't too much action, but you know, maybe if you've never played this game, you want to see what the, the, the crafting looks like and the the city living. Like you can tell, um, or rather, as you can see, if I go over here, there's a fishing hole. So all of the, the little transmutation stuff that I almost never use or accidentally hit a key and something happens. Uh, that's where all of that stuff comes from. Uh, now we have an enchanter and a transmuter. Uh, I may go off screen or between episodes and actually look up what some of this stuff is, does, and if it's really worth playing with. These guys you, uh, you already know about. Um, yeah! So, fun things. Um, do you have any spells for me by any chance? You don't have any weapons, armor, and you've got some buyback. Okay. I bought some dynamite, actually, uh, at the last city. And I'm really looking forward to finding a fishing hole <laughs> in one of the dungeons just to play with it. Because uh, it says here, lets you go blast, blast fishing. Yields less total fish per fishing hole than traditional methods. But, on the other hand, I, I'm sure you guys don't want to watch me fish for an hour in the middle of a dungeon. So, why not throw some dynamite in there? That sounds like a plan. Um, uh, have I talked to you? Greetings, human. Yeah, okay, great. Um, right. So, thanks for joining me. I am the Pedantic Raver. Uh, my main character is George, her pet's Panda, and, uh, we all, we all really, really appreciate you guys coming out, clicking the videos, uh, taking a look. If you like it, smack that like button. If you really like it, hit that subscribe button. I, I, it hel helps me so much. I appreciate it. Um, and yeah, I, I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Okay, bye.